Hi, this is Mani from bsc2nsc.com. Uh, in this video, I'm going to talk about applying Fibonacci ratios on options premium and how you can use this to maybe be a scalper in intraday or to try and get in at good levels if you are a positional trader. So basically what you do is, um, again, after watching this video, I would recommend to paper trade this for a month or just observe these levels for a month, write it down on a diary. And whatever kind of trading strategy that you're already doing, uh, try and see if you can, you know, if this adds value in the first place. Because otherwise, you, if you're already doing well, then you need not follow this. So just uh, try and observe this for a while and see if it's going to help you. So the point two is you pick direction or trend based on any indicator or breakout levels like Monday first 15 minute range or for positional traders, something like fresh expiry candle uh, uh, range uh, that uh, gets broken out these two videos i'll provide the link in the description so you can go through uh, if you've already not gone through this so it can be based on a ema line like 9 ema or 21 ema sma where you try and uh, you know uh, decide whether to go long or short and uh, get yesterday's day high and day low of options contract premium for both put option as well as ce now, why I'm asking you to go for both PE and CE is to understand, you know, uh, where the options prime uh, uh, premium is in terms of, uh, you know, whether you expect a further rise. So you may be interested in trading only PE, but you may want to check out the levels on CE as well before entering the trade. Um, so it's always best to track both so that, you know, you also can quickly change decisions also. You don't want to be uh, totally blindly sitting on a PE or uh, totally believe that C is going to work. You always, uh, and this is a preparation that you can do before the market opens. So you can keep both PE and CE prepared so that through the day, you can just keep a look at it, uh, look back at the levels again before you enter the trade. For weekly contracts, um, best to use these levels only on Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday because you, you will want to look at Yesterday's day high and day low. So uh, Monday, I wouldn't recommend going based on Friday's level. So let Monday's uh, the week start. And for Tuesday, you can look at Monday's levels and arrive at the levels. For Wednesday, you can look at Tuesday's levels and arrive at the levels. For Thursday, again, you can look at Wednesday's uh, day low and day high uh, and use the levels on Thursday. So Friday, of course, you don't want to do because... Uh, uh, you just before entering the weekend, a lot of people tend to uh, trade. So I, I personally feel Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday are ideal to use if you are going to trade on weekly contracts and if you are going to use this for intraday for scalping. For positional traders on monthly contracts, it can help you give good entry based on this. But like I said, I would uh, definitely urge you to uh, just observe it uh, for at least a month or paper trade uh, for at least a month. Uh, before you start using this in real life and uh, in real markets also just maybe try it with one lot and uh, unless it really helps you it doesn't make sense to scale up in options as a buyer uh, because this can get very very risky options as a buyer is very risky uh, because the time value can erode the premium very quickly so I wouldn't recommend uh, to scale up and you, I would recommend you to be very cautious before you proceed. So I'll give you a hint as to what I'm going to do here. This is just basic uh, steps that I'm uh, talking about. You can come back to this later. Uh, this may not make sense immediately, but uh, after I show you what, what I'm doing. So um, this is what happened. Uh, this is right after uh, the US attack on Iran. I'm recording this video right after. Uh, so let me take out the EMA lines here. So this is a daily chart yesterday nifty tanked uh, close to 2%. Uh, today is just a gap up opening but more like a consolidation. I wouldn't say total recovery or uh, negativity has not continued overnight US markets turn positive. But let me look at uh, 12,200 CE and 12,100 PE on weekly contract. Okay. So if you look at uh, 12,200 CE yesterday's day high is 57 day low is 8 8.45 you can when the range is extremely high you can just write down the uh, roundabout values as 8 and 57 or 58 so and similarly for 12100 pe 
yesterday's day low was 33 day high is 138 once you point the pointer at the candle here you can see uh, just a little above you can see the day high and day low or you can even arrive at it here you can just point approximately 138 as the day high and day low was something like 34 33 which is precise terms similarly for 12200 ce so i'm looking at both ce and pe of nifty here so this is 58 day high day low was around 9 or it was 8 8 and a half so i've just made a quick calculator here uh, basically yh is yesterday's high y yl is yesterday's low similarly i've made two um, tables here one for ce and one for pe so for a trader intraday trader or just even you want to hold a couple of days on weekly contract so assuming you expect the weakness to continue over the next two days though today recovered 12100 pe which is just out of the money the yesterday's day low was 33 day high was 38 so what i do is i take this range on this range we apply fibonacci ratio so Yesterday's range, if you look at it, 138 minus 33 is approximately 100 or 105. So this 105, we split it into Fibonacci ratio, so 0% as 33 and 100% as 138. So 23% is 23% of the range, uh, 105. So the, the calculation is, you know, day high minus day low multiplied by 0.23 plus the day low. So, which gives you 57 and 38% is 73, 62% is 98, 77% is 114, 100% is 138. Once it goes above 138, there is a chance that it can go above 138 also if it does go above. So, I extrapolate another 105 points, 138 plus 105 is 243 as the uh, upper range and uh, Fibonacci ratio is again within this range. So, because in case of a gap up from yesterday's high, uh, that can also happen someday. So, if we open above 138, then these ranges come into play. Similarly, for the CE. So, yesterday's day low was 8, uh, day high was 57. So, between this range, you can apply 23%, 38%, 62, 77. And above 57, extrapolating the range, 8 to 57 is approximately 50 points. So 57 plus 50 is 107 approximately here it gives you the exact values again Fibonacci range on that so it gives multiple levels uh, you can see today that though market has recovered uh, Jan 12 2200 CE is 25 so today you can see uh, it opened at 13 day low and went about 19 day high around 28.85 and it has struggled to cross 27 you can see 27 is the 38 percent and above 19 you can target 27 as the target if it holds about 27 nicely then 38 is the target if it holds about 38 you can scalp for a target of 46 typically as a scalper you can just target of you know you even if you enter at 21 you just target 25 26 or 27 as the target for a intraday scalper if you enter about 27 say like 28 29 you can target something like 36 maybe keep stop loss at 24 25 like that so again based on the market situation and you can have other uh, ways of picking whether you want to go long or short but once you pick then just knowing these levels as important support and resistance through through the day can be very helpful you can see on the other side 12100 pe 33 is yesterday's low so you can see here that it had dropped below 33 the day low was 30 you can see um, day low was 29.35 but it didn't stay below day low for a long period eventually once it comes up about 33 it is now at 42 so once it comes up about 33 if you are going long you can kind of target 57 so Again, you can even an option seller can use this as intraday on expiry on Thursday based on Wednesday's day high and day low. You can arrive at uh, these levels, which can be very helpful for your trading. 
and i know it's a little confusing i think for beginners it can definitely be confusing for those who traded options for a while and who know you know what i'm talking about here can make sense um these uh ratios you can fill in by yourselves it's very simple on the excel to put in these formulas if you understand basics of fibonacci or you can just drop me an email at rmoney84 at the red gmail.com or whatsapp me at this number 9600811895 i can just send this excel sheet to you you can just play around um, you know maintain a diary paper trade this for a while if it works for you then i'm pretty uh, i'll be pretty glad to hear that out and like i said options buying can be a very difficult uh, thing to do so uh, practice a lot it can take minimum 3 years to 5 years for any trader to mature and understand the basics of market and just to you know get the sync of the market so don't expect uh, to make money immediately have a lot of patience be in the market for minimum 3 to 5 years then things may begin to you know look uh, a little better for you so until then uh, i'd strictly recommend uh, staying very cautious play with very minimal capital and try and apply for ipo for listing gains make some profits there use those profits to risk in options as a buyer maybe if you're really interested and unless you're really interested it doesn't work for you so i'll put in my number and email id in the video description also if you need the sheet i can just send it across to you uh, subscribe to our channel stay in touch um, check out bsc to nsc for the free training material that we offer for clients who open a zerodha account through us uh, that's it for now bye bye